Good evening, morning, whatever ground mantle is. I'm Dan from Game Reviews AU. Thanks for joining me again. I like seeing you here. It's, it's nice to see. Today I'm going to be showing you a game called Tip Top Don't Fall. I think that's what it was, yeah. It's a mountain rock climbing game. It reminds me of uh, The Climb on, on the Oculus. And that was a stunning game. That was like, you know, really fun. Lots, lots going on and tip top is quite similar but obviously it looks completely different it's completely 2d you're just climbing up a rock uh, and navigating the little grips and handholds and carabiner points and whatnot as i said it is very uh it's very detailed your character changes uh, the way her body moves depending on where you put her arm and, and stuff. It never looks unnatural, and I thought that was pretty cool. So the main way that you control this is you hold the L and the R buttons. They grip on to the rock. So your left and your right hand will grip onto the rock. You let go of one of those buttons, not, not both at once, otherwise you'll fall. Um, and then you use the left or the right stick to move your arm to the next thing, and then press the L or the R button again to grab. And you'll need to be doing this all the way to the top until you reach the flag. Your stamina will gradually run out uh, as you are climbing, as you are holding with one hand and stuff like that. So you need to uh, re-chalk your hands, which will increase your stamina but it will also lessen your amount of total stamina. So yeah, don't just go chalking your hands all the time. The animation is quite nice as well. It's very indie. Uh, it, it looks gorgeous, like colorful, uh, rather like thought provoking in terms of um, the character that you're playing as, the, the places she travels to, just, just very, very beautiful. Tip Top uh, Don't Fall on Nintendo Switch. It's a really fun little game. It feels kind of like a puzzle game. Uh, there's a lot of levels that you go through. And uh, the levels get, obviously, harder as you go along. So you need to make sure that you're ready to take on whatever comes next. You can do it as fast as you can, or you can take your time, but obviously you need to get to the top before you fall. Now the other thing is, there are little carabiner checkpoints where you need to tie on. And when you tie onto them, if you fall, you will be able to go back to that level and start again. If you haven't tied onto any carabiner points, then you basically, you die. You fall to your death, and you have to start all the way from the beginning again. And uh, the levels are uh, regenerated randomly, um, or so they say. They look pretty similar to me, but yeah. So that's kind of cool. It's like a... Uh, what's the word? Progressively built game? Oh my goodness, I don't remember it, but yeah. The levels generate themselves randomly. I guess maybe in terms of where the uh, handholds are and whatnot. So yeah, it's a it's a very uh, skill testing game. It's quite a patience testing game as well. Uh, can you be bothered starting again? It's one of those games. I found it quite enjoyable though. The uh, the music and the sound effects very nice very easy to listen to there was nothing like annoying there was nothing too shrill about any of the noises so yeah it, it's a relatively relaxing game in the way that it looks the way that it sounds but not really the way it plays the way it plays can be quite stressful especially when you're running very low on stamina and you just need to get to the next carabiner yeah Anyway, I'm going to give Tip Top Don't Fall on Nintendo Switch 4 out of 5 stars. I feel they delivered the game that they went out to deliver. Very good.
If you like this review, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Remember to subscribe to my channel, and if you do so choose to do so, leave a, a comment down below. Also check out my Patreon page, consider pledging a few bucks. Thanks for watching, Toodle Pips.